And welcome back, everybody. Boise's unhoused population is growing. Our Roland Bear shares a new resource to help people find support to get back on their feet. When it comes to energy and enthusiasm, Donald Ruffing is unmatched. He built a company in L.A., got bought out by Teledyne, and then stepped back to reevaluate his life. Uh, it's, just, it's just making money, and it's, and it's like, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to make something where it's rewarding, where I'm really impacting somebody. So four years ago, he retired, moved to Idaho, and started helping the homeless by volunteering for just about anything at the Corpus Christi House. Back then, the homeless were given a vital pamphlet of helpful agencies. This is the self-rescue manual, and this actually it has, if you look at it, it has every resource. Problem is, resources for the homeless, well, they can change all the time, making a paper pamphlet quickly out of date. You imagine a, a homeless person calling somebody and says, oh, no, we don't do that anymore. So Don decided it was time to modernize because, let's face it, even the homeless today are plugged in. They don't have a lot of things, but they have a phone. <laughs> Don created the voicelist.org that uses volunteers to constantly update services available to the homeless. So changes this can be done in 30 seconds. So I can add new categories, I can add organizations all in a matter of seconds. It's invaluable, right? Yeah, that's what I do. I use my phone for on the internet. The data collected from voicelist.org can be invaluable to those looking to help. Because we can track all that data, yeah. and, uh, and, and so we can find out what are, what are the homeless looking for. It's the kind of idea that could make someone a million bucks if Don Ruffing cared for that sort of thing. Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.